In this video, let study a numerical problem based on the concept which we started in the previous video. The previous video was dedicated to derivative of f at x for f of x. I have even mentioned the theory even in this video for the previous one. If a function is differentiable and that function is such that it is differentiable at each point in its domain, I say that the derivative of that function or the differentiation of that function that is f dash x can be given by this formula or even one more formula was there fx wherein we had here minus minus h and here also minus h. So basically what I tell you is I tell you that the derivative can always be calculated using some standard results but in case you don't remember the standard results formula you can always use this formula the only condition as I told in the previous video for application of this formula is that the function should be a kind of say constant or polynomial or logarithmic or exponential which are differentiable in their respective domains. Right now suppose I have a question I say that you have been given fx is equal to 5x square and you are supposed to find out f dash x. How do you do? You did it as 5 is a constant let it remain x square is given to you the derivative of x square you need to find out you need to find out f dash x square and you saw that okay my x square is nothing but x raised to the power n as we saw so 2 into x raised to the power 2 minus 1 which will give me 10x this was what we used to do in our class 11th this technique is not wrong if you remember the formula definitely this is quick but this kind of a function 5x square is a polynomial function right polynomial function has the property or has the characteristic that it is continuous and differentiable in its domain so that means you can always go about by even using this formula that is what we are going to use we are going to use this formula for a question which says find f dash 2 for fx is equal to 5x square plus 10x plus 6 now even here if somebody told me find f dash 2 what I would do is I would find f dash x in the result I would use wherever x I would use 2 so my answer was 20. But now let's use this formula for a kind of question which is a polynomial function and let's solve it. The question should use this formula and it is a polynomial function as you can see which is always differentiable for all x belongs to r no problems with it you can use the questions formula. So it is f of x plus h what is x x is what value they are talking about they are talking about 2 2 plus h minus f of x again what is x what they are talking about upon h upon h limit h tends to 0 right now f of 2 plus h means what wherever you have x you have to substitute 2 plus h so my question changes to 5 multiplied by 2 plus h square plus 10 multiplied by 2 plus h plus 6 that is given minus is there f of 2 f of 2 means wherever you have x you have to place 2 directly firstly only calculate f of 2 5 multiplied by 2 square plus 10 multiplied by 2 plus 6 what is the answer let's see 2 2 is a 4 or 2 square 4 4 5 is a 20 plus 20 plus 6 46 this is the answer 2 f of 2 put here f of 2 is 46 upon h upon h limit h tends to 0 I don't think there is a problem with it now what to do again limit h tends to 0 5 is there expand a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab a square plus b square plus 2 2 is a 4 h I hope this makes sense plus 20 plus 10 h what I am doing is multiplying here multiplying here minus 40 upon h right next is what next is opening of the brackets let's open the brackets again limit h tends to 0 only solution is left you can always solve it yourself let's still do it 
5 4s are 20, 5 h square, 5 h square plus 20 plus 20 h plus 20 plus 10 h minus 40, right, upon h. Now, very crucial step, let us see if something is cancelled. 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 minus 40 cancels, 20 plus 20, 40 minus 40 cancels, right. 5h square plus 20h plus 10h means 5h square plus 30h. To solve it, the further part, let us use this space. Let us remove this. We are removing this to utilize some space. Now, let us shift the rest of the solution here. So, it becomes what? Limit h tends to 0. I am copying it. You also see whether the copying is done correctly. Then, 5h square plus 30h plus 30h upon h. Certain things can come out common, right? Limit h tends to 0, h is common, 5h plus 30 upon h, right? h and h get cancelled. Now, it is what? It is h tends to 0. h tends to 0 means directly you can put 0 now. So, it is 5 zeros are 0 plus 30. So, the answer is 30. So, the answer to this question is 30. But now see the question again. The question said something of this sort. You can also do it the other way around. And that is the task that is exercise for you. You differentiate it yourself. The answer will come in x. Put the value 2. You see that 30 will come here. 30 has come here. Even 30 will come with that. So, that means you can always use even this formula. But the only condition is when you have to use it, when the derivative is asked for a function which is continuous and differentiable in its domain. Otherwise, it is not applicable.